tales for dark nights. Want to make sure you never miss a Chilling Tales for Dark Nights video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights first opened its doors in October of 2012. In those days, the channel was quite different. Originally created as a means of promoting creator Craig Groshek's collection of short, scary stories, the channel featured narrations from Craig himself, alongside audio adaptations of his stories, performed by voice talents he discovered via YouTube. Craig also collaborated with other horror storytelling channels to feature their content on the channel, and one of those talented folks he collaborated with was Moon Raven, a producer of illustrated and sometimes animated scary stories videos. Craig worked with Moon Raven to feature some of their original recordings on Chilling Tales for Dark Nights, and one of those, still available today, was a short story by Jack Stryker called The Staring Doll, and it was performed by Luke Fisher, then just a young man with a penchant for the paranormal. Though it was Fisher's only performance featured on Chilling Tales for Dark Nights, it would not be his last. And Luke, many years later, was invited back to the roster to perform roles in Chilling Tales for Dark Nights' Simply Scary podcast. And his voice can be heard in several episodes dating back to 2016. In the near future, he will be featured in a lead role as well as in supporting roles in our upcoming full cast productions. And we're very proud of Luke and the progress he's shown. For fun, we decided to ask Luke to reprise his role as the narrator of The Staring Doll, and we'd like to share that for you today. What you're about to hear is Luke's original performance of the story, released on Chilling Tales for Dark Nights on November 25th, 2012, followed by his latest performance of the tale. We hope you'll see just how far this channel and Mr. Fisher have come in these past eight years, and we look forward to working with Luke for many years to come. In the meantime, we're ready to begin. So turn off the lights and turn on the dark. From Jack Stryker, as performed by Luke Fisher, I present to you The Staring Doll. Heather was at her friend Jenny's house one afternoon. It was just after school and Jenny's parents hadn't arrived home from work yet. It was just the two of them, and they were engrossed in a board game. Heather was having a good time, except that they were playing in a room adjacent to Jenny's parents' bedroom. And every now and then, Heather would glance up through the open door of that bedroom to see a little girl doll sitting up on the bed. Its eyes appeared to be staring at them. She tried to ignore it, but over time it started to get to her. I'm sorry, she said, but I can't concentrate. That doll on the bed over there is giving me the creeps. Oh, no problem, Jenny replied. She went to the room and closed the door to calm Heather down. Then the two friends resumed their game. It hadn't been long, however, before Heather glanced up again. The door was open once again, and again the doll appeared to be staring at them. Jenny couldn't understand it. She could swear that there was nobody else home and that there was no way the door could have opened without the knob being turned. Shrugging, she went up to the bedroom and closed the door, this time making sure that it clicked shut. But again and again, they would check the door and find it wide open. Heather was starting to get very scared. Finally, Jenny had enough of this. She went into the bedroom, grabbed the doll, and threw it into the closet, slamming it shut. She then slammed the bedroom door shut behind her, and they resumed their game. For a while, things appeared to be going well. But then Heather glanced up one last time. All of a sudden, she stood up and said, Goodbye, and ran home as fast as she could. This time, when Jenny looked up, she saw the bedroom door only slightly ajar with a chair propped up behind it, and sitting on the chair, peeking through the opening at them, was the doll. Heather was at her friend Jenny's house one afternoon. 
It was just after school and Jenny's parents hadn't arrived home from work yet. It was just the two of them and they were engrossed in a board game. Heather was having a good time, except they were playing in a room adjacent to Jenny's parents' bedroom. And every now and then, Heather would glance up through the open door of that bedroom to see a little girl doll sitting up on the bed. Its eyes appeared to be staring at them. She tried to ignore it, but over time it started to get to her. I I'm sorry, she said, but I, I can't concentrate. That doll on the bed over there has given me the creeps. Oh, no problem, Jenny replied. She went to the room and closed the door to calm Heather down. Then the two friends resumed their game. It hadn't been long, however, before Heather glanced up again. The door was open once again, and again, the doll appeared to be staring at them. Jenny couldn't understand it. She, she could swear that there was nobody else home, and that there was no way the door could have opened without the knob being turned. Shrugging, she went up to the bedroom and closed the door, this time making sure that it clicked shut. But again, and again, they would check the door to find it wide open. Heather was starting to get very scared. Finally, Jenny had had enough of this. She went into the bedroom, grabbed the doll, and threw it in the closet, slamming it shut. She then slammed the bedroom door shut behind her, and they resumed their game. For a while, things appeared to be going well, but then Heather glanced up one last time. All of a sudden, she stood up and said, Goodbye, and ran home as fast as she could. This time, when Jenny looked up, she saw the bedroom door only slightly ajar, with a chair propped up behind it, and sitting on the chair, peeking through the opening at them, was the doll. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights